The couple that researches together stays together. But should they have their ancestors in the same database? That's the focus of today's video. Howdy, I'm Devon Noel Lee, and you're watching another episode of Family History Fanatics. I love to teach you how to build your family tree. And today we will address a question posted to a genealogy Facebook group of which I am a part. If I am researching my ancestor and those of my wife, is it better to maintain two completely separate Roots Magic databases or combine them? Many people have weighed in from the Roots Magic users group regarding what they would do with that genealogy program. However, I want to broaden the scope of the question to include any genealogy tree building website or genealogy software. Let's first discuss the two approaches to tree building in the genealogy community that addresses this topic. Many prominent genealogists prefer to have anyone and any, everyone in a massive family tree. The theory is, as best as I understand it, is one tree to rule them all. And that will help you see when people are linked together that you had not expected. Plus, it keeps you focused rather than fragmented. And some research says you're not doing double the work. By contrast, targeted family trees segment sections of a family tree. In this way, a researcher works on a specific research question, a specific location, specific surnames, or their side of the family tree versus their spouse's line. These researchers avoid being distracted by tree hints in other trees or individuals they're not interested in researching on that platform. Additionally, some researchers work with other researchers on a small tree. By having separate trees, these researchers collaborate on only the portions of the tree that they share a common concern. Both genealogical approaches have their merits and deficiency. Only you and your spouse, if you're researching together, or you for your spouse's tree, can decide which one will work best. Except for collaborative trees such as FamilySearch, WikiTree, and Ginny, you can have separate or shared trees in the programs you see on this screen. Here are some things to consider when deciding with your spouse, whether to have one tree or separate trees. If you're doing the research for your spouse, then maybe these will apply, but take a watch and then tell me what you decide at the end. Some genealogists believe that if you have children, you should definitely create one tree because it will be much easier for your offspring to manage later. However, the age of your children and how many years you may have left to research will impact your decisions. For example, Andy and I are in our mid-40s. We have children at home involved in sports and band and academic pursuits. Another child is on a mission. Our eldest is working on entry-level jobs and in college. In short, we have children, but they are not ready to take on the roles of genealogists for our family. We can and do keep separate trees in our ancestry accounts in all of those programs I showed you before. Although I only use the genealogy software. <laughs> Andy built his family tree projects online and in spreadsheets for his DNA analysis. By contrast, when my mother passed away, her genealogy research came to me. She had combined the lines with my father's and hers into one tree. Since I was a married adult, the one tree for my mom's research made sense. In short, consider your age and the stage of life your children are in before deciding whether to combine or keep your personal trees separate. In a previous video, I discussed how you could color code portions of your family tree using your roots magic. You can also color code your family tree using Family Tree Maker. Some researchers have found that by using color-coded names, they can share a family tree with their spouse. However, if you and your spouse cannot agree to your color-coding system, it might be best to separate your trees. Additionally, if you don't have enough colors to show your spouse's line and your line, you might want to do separate trees. Are you and your spouse from one location? If you 
R, it would make sense to make one database. It's possible you will discover you have pedigree collapse or endogamy in your family tree. Thus, a combined family tree helps you see how interrelated your ancestors are. However, my husband and I don't share ancestors or cousins in common back to the sixth generation. Since we focused our active research in this time frame, we can keep separate databases without missing possible intersections. However, since we have our ancestral lines on collaborative family tree platforms like WikiTree or FamilySearch, we can find any connections outside of the active research there. The next topic pertains to efficiency in genealogy research. As some of you may know, I am always looking for ways to be more efficient. Hence the release of the video about the Goldie May research log being the best tool ever. One time-consuming research task is creating source citations. Some researchers assert that their combined family tree reduces source citation efforts. If you have watched my videos about creating citations, you have learned about the many ways we can be more efficient with our citations. However, one tree advocates do have a point about combining their family tree to reduce citation work. If you're using citation templates or copies of previously created free form templates, you could save time by not creating these sources again and again. However, if you and your spouse research in very different locations, you will likely not have much overlap in citations. Thus, the potential for saving time is negligible. One Roots Magic user said that when her tree exceeded 35,000 persons, the database was too cumbersome to work with. I would have to agree. I advocate creating smaller research trees to tackle your active research projects, particularly brick walls. If you find yourself going down rabbit trails, it's likely the result of having too many people clamoring for your attention. One other thing I have found is transferring databases and cleaning up facts, sources, and locations are more manageable when you're working with a smaller tree. As I mentioned earlier, the couple that researches together stays together. However, do you and your spouse research in the same way? Off camera, Andy and I have many discussions about different research approaches. Some discussions get very heated. <laughs> we both agree on the need to support our research with evidence. However, that's where many of the our agreements end. For instance, cleaning up place names is a particular obsession of mine. This is why I created a playlist about fixing locations in Ancestry, Family Search, Family Tree Maker, and Roots Magic Family Tree. And don't get me started on citation differences. There is a reason I made a video entitled Genealogy Source Citations Made Easy for Those Who Dislike Them. Since we have such different genealogy research styles, it's better that we keep our family trees separate. In the future, our children, or most likely I, will have to combine our trees and resolve these differences. But for now, we have more peace with separate trees. One final thing to consider is whether you and your spouse share genealogy subscriptions. If you are sharing a subscription and there's a cap on the size a family tree can be, then you might want to have separate trees. Or if you and your spouse don't want to be bothered with family tree hints for their side of the family, have separate accounts. <laughs> However, if you don't have a tree size limit or you both work out a solution to the consistency for place names, sources, and tree hints, then have a shared tree. Andy and I are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. One benefit of membership for genealogists is we can have separate access to find my past, ancestry, and my heritage to build our family trees. <laughs> As such, we don't have to have our, the other spouse's tree data in our account. So which is right for you? There is no genealogy standard for which tree building strategy is right for couples. Before making your decision, I hope you have some things to consider and get a little insight into the people behind Family History Fanatics. Remember, it's your and your spouse's decision or your decision for the different lines you work on. 
not saying crazy person on the internet. However, I would like to know what you have decided. So let me know in the comments section. Like this video and leave a comment. Your feedback is important to keep Family History Fanatics on YouTube.